Hey everyone, Josh here with Fresh Start Customs, and today we're going to be showing you guys how to, to change JPEG images like this into a vector image that you can engrave on your laser. That way you can either choose to score, cut, or engrave versus just engraving like a JPEG image does. I'm going to go ahead and pull this over to a new document so you can see what's going on here. Um, as you can see right now, it's just a standard JPEG image. I can't edit it. I can't see like cut lines or score lines in this. Um, it's got the white background, the gray shadowing, this yellowish off white, and then the black here. Um, we're going to just turn this solid black and white. It works best with mostly black and white images, and it'll try and pull that shading out, leaving a nice a crisp engraving for your laser. And that's what we're ultimately going for. You can do this with colored images too, but you're going to get different results and may have to play with it to get a real clean image. But ultimately, if you can get as close to black and white as possible, you'll get good results with this. So all you'll need to do is have the image selected and then you can click image trace. This is going to automatically convert to what it thinks is best. It usually defaults to black and white um, logo. Um, or you can click this drop down to see all of the options and you can play with these options and see what works best for you. Um, alternatively, you can click window at the top here and then go to image trace and you can get a little bit more control, like advanced control over this. And you can play with the threshold, the lines, everything within this to get better trace results. Um, but I usually don't do that. I usually just use the default option which is just clicking on image trace or clicking on black and white logo. That's what we're going to be doing today. Just click on that. And as you can see, it automatically converted that. And then lastly, to turn it into the vector that's going to be editable, you're going to click on expand. Now that you see that we clicked expand, you can see all these lines all the way around every single part of this. So it's now a editable vector image. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna double click on this white section and then click one last time so this white section is selected. Then we're gonna go up to select, go down to same, and then we're gonna go to fill and stroke. What that's gonna do is select all of the white around this uh, character here and then we're gonna hit delete. And now, as you can see, we have just a solid black image here, no white. You can see the grid lines through it it's a complete vector and you're ready to engrave. And then once you engrave it, it's going to look something like this here um, on your wood. And this is exactly what we're going for here. So I hope you guys found some benefit out of this. I hope this helped you out. If you have questions about it, let me know down in the comments below and I'll answer anything that I can. I hope to do more videos like this that are shorter and can get to the point um, of showing you guys how to do some of these features for your laser engraving. If you like this style of video, let me know down in the comments below as well. Other than that, we'll catch you guys in the next one.